The consistency is thick enough not to really drip off the brush. Yeah. What color are you using on your hair? Bleach. And we're doing bleach, bleach right now because I have tint in my hair and then we'll tone it. Besides, like, because your hair is finer on top and it break easily because the regrowth won't be as, like, drastic. Or are you going to continue it? Yeah. Me personally? Yeah. No, I, that's just the look I wanted. Okay, and not, then not also, for like, in general, would people do that? Too? Just because, wrong. Like, wrong. not as noticeable yeah, regrowth? Yeah, that's good. On uh, this, uh, sorry. Yeah, thin. Yeah, perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sorry? Um, like, let's say someone wanted to change that they, like, don't know if they really want to maintain it or whatnot. Mm. Like, would being, like, in that position more of a halo or diamond in the back would be more, okay, if the regrowth isn't as noticeable. Yeah. Um, Bad if they didn't. Yeah, so so for somebody like that, if they part their hair in the middle, uh -huh. you wouldn't do any, like, you know, you take a little bit of hair on each side of the parting, and yeah. no, don't weave that, and weave everything under. Under, so they have some texture, and if they don't want to... Yeah, so if it grows out, you can't see the regrowth so much. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so nothing around the edges either. Yeah. It's really just com a lot of common sense. Cosmetology is common sense. Yeah. It really is. It is. So it's kind of can you just use 20 volume? What if you just decide not to put any color in it, but you use 20 volume and just put it on your hair? Would that oh, work? 20 volume without bleach, you mean? Without anything. Tw do you remember Sun In? Sun In, years ago there was a pro. It, yeah. it came back, I think I saw a commercial not too long ago. I think it's Yeah, Sun In was. Uh, peroxide in a bottle, you spray it on, mm -hmm. and you go out in the sun. Like if you're going to the beach that day, you spray it in your hair and you go to the beach. Or you spray it in your hair and you blow dry it, you add heat. And it lightens you like one level. Like Mrs. Ellie's hair, how the ends are a little lighter, naturally, sun in will give you that same effect. And be careful when you clip it, only for clip, not the hair. Oh, you clip each one part? Oh, good. It's more stable. It and slips. Okay. It's a stable in the place. Sometimes we prepare cotton if we need to mm. use it before. If you're not doing color at the same time, you can do color. Mm. <coughs> I, I put it more powder and chemical here on the rest of it. Uh, how, how far away from the scalp you are applying it? About uh, half a uh, mm -hmm. centimeter. Half a centimeter? Mm-hmm. Do we have to tone it? Yeah. Do well, I, you don't have to. No. A cure is maybe Good. you don't tone. No. Right. Are you doing more of a caramel color? So, yeah. Yeah, okay. So the question was, do you have to tone always? No. You tone if you have an undesirable color. The color you're left with is not exactly what you wanted. That's when you tone it. But, for example, Fabi, she does her highlights and she doesn't tone hers. Because she's able to lift it to the color she wants. So there's no reason to tone it. But I like to tone, still, because you, you have like, you know, stripped strand of hair when you bleach. And so even toner is going to, remember we talked about toners acting as a long-lasting conditioner? Yeah. Because it's going to fill the holes. Even if you put a very light color where you're not changing the color of your highlights, mm -hmm. it'll fill them and make them feel better and shine. Toners are different than fillers, though. Right? Yes. Okay, but they could be used as a filler. Yeah. And the protein acts as a magnet. Okay, so, so it's very important. The protein acts as a magnet. To the color. So you put the filler in the hair. 
and then the color that you put over it is going to stick better and hold better because there's protein in the filler. There's, you could use anything for a filler though, anything that has color in it, but if it's not a protein filler, it's not going to act as a magnet. She like loves it. She's getting so many compliments. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Is that office stuff bleach? Mm-hmm. How come it's blue? It, it's one of those bleaches that has a built-in toner. Oh, uh, okay. It's not like the bleach bleach, it's like the kaleidoscope bleach? Uh, kind of, yes, okay. the kaleidoscope. What's kaleidoscope? <coughs> it's got like toners in it. Like, so it, like it's different spectrum of Yes. The same oh. color. Mm. Yeah. Oh, she blows on it to keep other hairs from falling in mm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. No. She resaturating? Yes. A little bit. Mm. On the ends, the yeah. darker part. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're putting fresh color on the ends. Mm -hmm. okay. <coughs> huh? The heat, yes. yeah. But the heat is going to make heat. the whole foil come up. Light. Come up lighter. Remember, my roots were, will come up faster than the ends. Yeah, I want to. Assist. Mm. Wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I want it lighter than this one. You know, lighter than that, so we're going to wait. Mm. Okay. As a tonal, 9 NB and 7 NB. It is Redken Shades EQ and it's mixed with Redken Shades EQ Processing Solution. One ounce of 7 NB and one ounce of 9 NB. Two ounces of Shazy Q developer. So now we're applying the toner. Yes, please. Uh -huh. uh, it's shades 8NB. We mixed equal parts of 7NB and 9NB with its processing solution. Better to be a little on the darker side than too light.